We got some big news to share about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and that's coming up right after this if you new stay up to date with the latest tax please subscribe followed by the bow you can also keep up on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the description so this week we've got plenty more leaks about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and of course we can be covering it so we have full camera specs along with rumors of an inch display selfie camera use of the Galaxy Note 20 fast charger and finally confirmation of the release date before we get into it though please like the video if you're a fan of the Galaxy Note series let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 with a Note 20 Ultra for those unaware that we will of course be getting two models of the Galaxy Note 20 which can be the standard Note 20 the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra it was initially thought the larger models can be called the Galaxy Note 20 plus Molex is starting to point towards this being called the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Ice Universe told us this weekend the Galaxy Note 20 is condoned 5 August alongside the Galaxy Phone to another's this is great news considering that many were expecting delays and it means that the Galaxy Note 20 is now less than two months away of course it is important to note this isn't confirmation but Ice Universe is a reliable source next up the good news of an inch display selfie camera on the Samsung Galaxy Note 21 fortunately it doesn't look like this is the case and it's actually just rumors because someone else has promoted it Chinese company Vision Ups have announced mass production of the in-display selfie camera given us this teaser to showcase the hardware or enjoyable phone this will appear in first it's definitely not going to be the Galaxy Note 20 Samsung will of course be using their in-display camera technology from Samsung displays that's expected to debut in the Galaxy S21 and not the Note 20 Ice Universe that also give us full camera specs for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Heat advises the Galaxy Note 20 O Krista can be using a 108 megapixel and one as the primary sensor. This is a 1 over 1.33 and sensor that was of course seen in the S20 Ultra. We also get a 13 megapixel periscope lens with a 1 over 3.4 and sensor and finally with a 12 megapixel ISIS out which is a 1 over 2.55 and sensor. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is also not can have a time of flight that sensor rates instead it can have an additional laser focus sensor this is of course to fix the auto focusing issue resorb recent model zoom has also been reduced from 100 times to 50 times but of course users can zoom further and post we haven't had the fast charging capabilities of the galaxy note 20 confirmed it of his pre-packaged with a 25 watt fast charger the news is from the 3c certification it's important to note that it doesn't mean it's its marks capability is actually the same as the predecessor was likely just use the same adapter to save on the manufacturing costs of course we've also had Catholics in the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra they've also been used to create stunning 3D renders now we can run through more of them up for my regular viewers you guys have already seen this is it just get to the next video if you new have then don't forget to subscribe and really get right into it the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is coming with a 6.7 inch analyst display with a poncho selfie camera top center will many were hoping for the display selfie camera it's not can happen and it's most likely can it be for the S range the dimensions come in at 161.8 by 75.3 by 8.5 millimeters which makes the Note 21 millimeters thicker than its predecessor significantly larger overall one thing that you may have already noticed is a flat display on the Note 20 I'm assuming this is can please a lot of you my most complained about features in the comment is of course the current display you can see the on the note 20 record the volume and the home buttons on the right hand side in the left side completely clear we take a look underneath record USB type C port microphone SPK grow in the S pen at the far left the same trays now located at the top of the Galaxy Note 20 on the re-recorded rectangular camera module similar to the S ranges 38.1 mm long by 21.9 wide Samsung reportedly still working on these cameras so we don't have any confirmation on what they can it be it's expected it will contain either the M1 or the GM1 from Samsung we can of course see that we've got three lenses on the left with the periscope lens on the right underneath the LED flash you can see the back panel is covered on both edges with slight curves in all corners and overall looks like a comfortable device to hold still a very premium smartphone next up because my favorite which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 plus these renders were provided by Pictalanon. 
leaks we have most of the details this still some unconfirmed information the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus is coming with the largest 6.9 inch curved analyst display recorder poncho camera top center we have plenty of display from Ross Young we have since deleted the tweets as we can only issue is an issue always been asked to remove them we're expecting and LTPR display but again the poncho selfie camera is in display cameras just ready yet the Note 20 Plus dimensions come in at 165 by 77.2 by 7.6 millimeters with the trim down bezels it is pretty much full screen with the volume and power buttons on the right hand side with the left completely smooth the bottom layer is the same as the Note 20 with the S Pen at the far left followed by speaker USB port and microphone on the rear we got another rectangular camera housing we can see it is a little bit different from the smaller Note 20 have to say I much prefer this one looks a little bulky with bigger lenses actually really like these camera rings and I think it as to the premium of the device go to cameras on the left which reportedly could be the Samsung M1 and the GN1 with the periscope lens underneath over on the right hand side see it true that camera and underneath the LED flash again the edges are carved on the back and overall it looks like it can be a great device we still haven't had any details on the pricing and probably won't until close to the launch towards the end of the year this can be interesting to see why they price it the Note line is always the most premium of the range well apart from the newly added follow the S range with price relatively high that sold less than expected it so this could affect the pricing on the Note. One thing we do know though is that with the Note we'll get improved display factory camera and general hardware and of course we don't have much longer until it's going to be released now in a run through all of the specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 plus my regular viewers you guys have already seen it so. I suggest you switch off, now if you knew had the nerve to get to hit subscribe and we'll get right into it of course the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is going to be an incredible smartphone actually one of my favorite releases this year will likely see improved design display at cameras and more for anyone who's missed my previous videos to quickly run through what we can expect from my regular viewers you would have already seen this so just switch off now if anyone knew him we're going to run through everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy Note 24 the Note was always much bigger than the S range in the past things have been changing lately to be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20 last year we had the Note in two sizes which was 6.3 and in 6.8 inch displays we then have a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display given that the S range has massively increased in size with a 6.9 inch display now coming under the estimate that we could see a Galaxy Note 20 with at least a 7 inch display of course more often sizes are generally getting larger so public sizes are going to rise to given the success of last year's notes and also can predict we'll be getting a Galaxy Note 21 with the Galaxy Note 20 plus we haven't had any solid leaks or information when it comes displays run to predict a 6.5 inch display on the Galaxy Note 27 inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 plus I'm expecting both models to be 1440 by 3200 resolution and that will be a 120 has dynamic AMOLED display windowed out in the C and in display fingerprints, along with Gorilla Classics for protection when it comes to the selfie camera the Note line actually led the innovation for Samsung last year it can be interesting to see whether they stick with the poncho camera top center of the Galaxy Note 20 comes with a new design altogether many are curious with the in display cameras I can be available for consumers one Samsung have this technology ready my guess would be introducing it on the Note line unfortunately the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early for this tack is like can be something we see in 2021 when it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11 or the Galaxy Note 20 as it may be code of court no doubt that we can see a rectangular camera housing Samsung have stuck with this across the mid-range and at flagship this year so the Note 20 should be no different Samsung have also been getting a lot more adventurous with the cameras so you can predict we'll get a 108 megapixel ISIS sensor with pixel bending technology will get a 
periscope lens with some incredible zoom capabilities get an ultra wide angle for this is why Charles will also get a 3D time of flight that sensor will soon no doubt see best camera sensors on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 plus compared to the standard Note 20 in the hardware department we know the Galaxy Note 20 it can be powered by the Snapdragon 865 in North America and the Axonos i90 globally we see up to 512 gigs of internal storage with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and will of course be expandable with a microSD card given the larger size the Galaxy Note 20 plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5200 mAh hours or the Galaxy Note 20 is to be around 4300 of course both Galaxy Note 20 is to be running Android 10 in the form of one UI to it will be IP68 water resistant Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers and no 3 and one half no headphone jack and most importantly for Note finds it will be coming with the much left as pendant using Bluetooth 5 we have any leaks on the upcoming S Pen but it's no doubt, can be more refined with new hardware and software features the Galaxy Note 20 is set to be an incredible device and judging by recent years we can expect the Galaxy Note 20 to launch at the start of August 2020 release towards the end of the month when it comes to pricing it will of course be an expensive device prices are expected start at about $1100-$1200 for the standard Note 20 around $1400-$1500 for the Galaxy Note 20 plus Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as it may also be cooled given the success of this is light models it's also likely that we'll get a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line is a great time to be a Samsung fan with so many phones being released by the company to shoot selection in a range of the premium S and the Note line on top of the Galaxy forward in the Galaxy that flip phone I'll have to say it is that flip phone is the only one that doesn't really excite me that's just because I see it is a little bit unnecessary it's sort of trying to solve a problem that isn't really there in the first place and being overcomplicated for very little reason of course that's just my opinion though and I'm sure it will be a successful phone being price much lower than the fold of coat alters all the information estimates we have today but as soon as any solid information comes to light I'll be sharing with you guys straight away I just wanted to give you my estimations along with the stunning renders that concept artists have already put together as always though I'd like to know your guys thoughts and the comments of others waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Galaxy Note 20 the waiting for the Galaxy Note 20 or the Note 20 Ultra but please subscribe, like the video comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.